Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. In this lesson, we are going to review about slopes, especially sp slopes from two points and how to identify slopes from graphs. So first, let's review what is a slope. Slope is a ratio. It's a rate of change in y coordinates, which a lot of time we will say it is a rise. So let's say we have a graph. Let's say we have a graph and we have a line. It's the change in the y coordinate. So this is the y coordinates. That's the y coordinate. So we're going to have a rise portion. This is the rise. The rise over the x coordinate, the changing x coordinate, which is over here, which is the rise. So that's why when we say the slope, we say it is rise over run, but we can also change, say it as change in y over change in x. Slope describes how steep a straight line is. We're just dealing with straight lines for now. It could also be called rate of change. So here's the slope formula. Whenever we talk about slopes, we need two points. So given that you have two points x1, y1, or x2, y2, they just represent two different points. The subscription is just saying these are from the first point and these are from the second point. So it's the change in y over the change in x. So you can see on the top, I'm using the second y coordinate, subtracting the first y coordinate. And then on the bottom, since the change in x, I'm using the second x coordinate, subtracting the first x coordinate. And that is also the same as rise over run. So typically when you see two points, we just need to identify the first point and the second point and kind of label them and go from there. So now let's have a look at some examples. Let me write the formula on the top real quick. The slope is going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If you struggle with identifying that, anytime you see two points, just label them already. The first point will have x1, y1. Uh, the, second time, the second point will have x2, y2. So now we can just put everything into the slope formula. m equals, on the top is y2 minus y1, y2 is a 4, y1 is a 2. So it's going to be a 4 minus 2 on the top. And then on the bottom is x2 minus x1. As you can see, I'm starting from the same point. You could actually start from the both uh, start both the x and the y from the first point or the second point, as long as you start them from the same point. So on the bottom, x2 is a 3, x1 is a 1, so 3 minus 1. Let's calculate it. The top 4 minus 2 is a 2. Bottom 3 minus 1 is also a 2. Simplify the fraction. We can type in our calculator 2 divided by 2. That is going to simplify to be a 1. That is example 1. Next, example 2. If, again, if you struggle, always have the habit to label the points. You have x1, y1, x2, y2. So the slope is y2 minus y1, which is 1 minus negative 2. This is where you gotta be careful. Because we're doing subtracting a negative number, you gotta keep both of the subtraction or the negative signs. So it's 1 minus a negative 2, and the bottom is a negative 4 minus a negative 1. Make sure you have all the signs that you need, and then we can actually do our calculation. When you have two negative signs next to each other, it becomes a positive, so the top is a 3, Bottom, same thing. When you have two negative signs, become positive. So it's actually a negative 4 plus 1, which is a negative 3. 3 over negative 3 could be simplified as a negative 1. So the slope for example 2 is negative 1. I'm going to ask you to pause here and try with example 3 and example 4. Hopefully you have tried. Let's have a look. For example 3, let's still label the points x1, y1, x2, y2. So it's y2 minus y1, which is a negative 2 minus a negative 5. On the bottom is a x2 minus x1, so it's a negative 5 minus a negative 2. Same thing. So I can't emphasize enough, you're subtracting a negative number, you've got to make sure you have both of the subtraction or negative signs. Okay, but of course, because we have two of them, we're going to change them into addition. So it's actually negative 2 plus 5, which is a positive 3. On the bottom, Two negative signs combined to be a positive, so it's negative 5 plus 2, which is a negative 3. 3 over negative 3, that is a negative 1. Example 4. Slope is, let's label the points, x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1 is going to be 2 minus negative 4. And on the bottom, x2 minus x1 is going to be negative 9 minus negative 7. Okay, 
two negative signs change into positive. The top is a six. Two negative signs change into positive. So the bottom is a negative nine plus seven, which is a negative two. Six over negative two simplifies to be a negative three. That is example four. Moving on, let's talk about the different types of slopes. So uh, there's a video that someone else made uh, that is called the slope dude. It kind of describes about what kind of lines would look like for different kind of slopes. So positive is this portion is going upright, and negative is going down right. When it's horizontal is zero, and when it's like vertical, which is like a cliff that the guy is is actually skiing on, it's undefined. So an undefined slope is a vertical line, and a line with a zero slope is actually a horizontal line. Something you gotta be careful with. And anytime you have a line, for example, let's say you have y equals three x plus two. Well, in this case. You have both the x and the y, so of course your graph is going to look like that. It's going to cross the x-axis and cross the y-axis. So whichever letter you see, that is the axis that is being crossed. So when you have a vertical line, it's actually going to be right there, but it's x equal since it's only crossing the x-axis at 3. So you got to be careful with that. Vertical line looks like this, but it's x equals. But horizontal line, when you actually cross horizontally, you can see you're actually crossing the y-axis. That's why it's going to be y equals, and let's say that's at 3. So it's a little bit, uh, I mean, counterintuitive, because you have vertical line, you're going to be like, well, yeah, that's going to be y, because y is vertical. However, it's not the case. It's about the axis that is crossing. So these are some different types of slopes. Positive going up right, negative going down right. Zero is a horizontal line. And it's actually going to be y equals because it's crossing the y-axis. And um, no slope, undefined slope is a vertical line. And it's going to be x equals since it's crossing the x-axis. These are the different types. Now let's move on to uh, review how to identify slopes from graphs. So typically, of course, you need two points. And the slope is going to be rise over run. So you kind of have to go vertical first, you have to go up or down first, and then divide by however much you're going horizontally. Something to be careful with, you need to pay attention to if it's positive or negative. So example five, let's have a look. Since um, we are going to the positive direction, or I mean, we typically start from the point on the left, which is right here. And I'm rising or which means going up or down first to get to the other point right here. So in this case, I need to go up one, two, three, four. So that's going to be a positive four as my rise. So this is my rise. And then run is horizontal one, two, three. Both positive because I'm going up, which is positive. Right is also positive. So it's four over three. Uh, it's already simplified. So that is the answer. Number six. Well, there are no points given. So you need to identify two points. Let's say you are going to pick this as a point, and let's say you're going to pick another point right here. So let's see. From left to right, we've got to go vertical first. So in this case, in order to get to the point on the right, you're going to have to go down by one. So that is, we still call it right since it's vertical, but it's actually going down by one, so it's a negative one. And then afterwards, we are going to the right by two. That is our run, which is a positive two. So the answer is negative one half. That is the slope for number six. You can pause here and try it with seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hopefully you have tried. Let's have a look. The point on the left is A. We got to go vertical first. So one, two, three, four. Dropping down four. That's, uh, well, I'm just going to write it here, negative four. So it's actually a negative four as our rise going vertical. And then horizontally, I'm just going to go to the right by one, which is a positive one. Simplifies to be negative 4 as our slope, for example, 7. Moving on, example 8. Slope. The point up here is a point, and then we have another point down here. So I'm going down again, 1, 2, 3, which is a negative 3, since I'm going down. And then I'm going to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's going to be a positive 4, which simplifies to be a negative 3 fourths. Okay, number nine. It's a vertical line, 
So we actually try to do a rise over run. You can see the run part. Well, I mean, you can pick any two points on here. You do have a rise, but it's going to be over a zero. If you try to type that into your calculator to simplify, your calculator is going to show an error message. So this slope is actually an undefined slope. So vertical, think about the cliff. The guy is going to drop down and hopefully he's still alive, but I mean, it's not going to be good. So that's why it's undefined. We don't know what's going to happen. That's example nine. Next, example 10. Two points down. It's a negative one. So the slope is a negative one. Vertically, horizontally, I'm going one, two, three, four, five. So I have a positive five, negative one over five. That is going to be simplified as negative one fifth. That is the last example for this slope review. Thank you.